Hi guys, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome to my dream clothes. But wait a minute. We really need to just back it up a bit. Guys, the Ikea guys are here. My house is in shambles. I have everything out here. I've already cleaned out my bedroom where my new Pax Ikea closet will be going. So this is the room. It's all cleared out. And the closet will go along this wall and this wall. I might have to do some moving things around or shifting things around because I think um, I measured wrong. <laughs> so we'll see like how it goes. Can you imagine in there is my new closet and it's making its way to me. closet is finally complete. Oh, I love it so much. So the two on the outside are both shoe racks. The bottom is going to be for my boots. The middle is like for my clothes, a few of my bags. I have a little pullout tray for jewelry. My little knickknacks. I have a little desk area that I'm going to decorate with candles and flowers and my fave books and then this will be a nice little shelf for like my bags here's a closer look at the shoe racks the cool thing is they pull out which is amazing this little see-through shelves will like show off some things I want to show off they're nice and deep too I went ahead and got, I think they're 22 inches deep. This will just be for all of my hanging things, like my long dresses. Down here will be my jeans, my denim. And I think I'm gonna use these for sweaters. Down here, I have another like little quick pullout for the shoes that I wear on a regular basis. They'll be there. 
this is just going to be for my tops. Anything else I want to put in here. I really love this pull out mirror. It's so cool. Hi guys. Yes, I'm recording this on my phone. So you turn it and look. It's a great little area for just hanging like necklaces or jewelry, you know, storing things down in here. Yay. So now the fun part, I get to go ahead and start filling this up with all of my things and like decorating it. Pretty excited about that. Hi guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome to my channel. Um, we are actually here inside of my brand new clothes. Oh my god, I can't wait to like get into it and show you all about it. But first, let me tell you about it. Um, so I've been full-time blogging now for a full two months and I'm working from home and this space was basically my closet slash office. And now that I'm working from home, I really wanted a, a nice environment that was warm and welcoming and that inspired me to actually get some work done and versus just like sitting in front of the TV and, you know, eating and doing everything on the couch. I wanted a really nice space. So I've been wanting this uh, clothes for about, I don't know, a few years. And, um, what I did for inspiration is I just went on Pinterest and I looked up um, closets. And the ones that I saw that I really liked were the PAX IKEA closets. And I went once and looked around in their PAX closets and I was like, yes, this is it. This is what I want. And so I started saving. My budget for this closet was $1,500. I went over my budget, by the way. But we'll get to that. Um, so I went in, well, before I went in, I actually measured my walls and then I kind of looked online on the IKEA website. There's a program that you can kind of build your own closet, like based on models that they already kind of have put together. So I did that and then I went into the store and like scratched that whole entire thing. And I sat in there with one of their sales associates who specializes in helping build out the PAX closet. I gave him my measurements. He asked me what I wanted and then we just, we spent about 30 minutes building everything um, on the website. And then he printed everything out, told me how much it would cost. He factored in them delivering it here to Harlem from the Brooklyn location, as well as uh, taxes and how much it would be for them to actually come here and build it for me. So the closet itself came up to $1,281, which was like great for me. I'm like, oh wow, I'm under my budget. Like this is awesome. And then taxes was like an extra hundred. And then delivery was like, I don't know, an extra hundred. And then putting it together was also like $359. And to me, I mean, I, I guess that was really worth it because I wasn't going to build it. And like, I don't don't have any friends who are going to come and build it. And I wanted it done right. So the total came up to, let me see if I can find it here. And I'll kind of show you this piece of paper, how we built it out. They actually did a printout of how the closet was going to look. So everything came up to, why can't I find the right paper? To $1,800 and like some change. Yeah. So let me show you a little bit of like how it looks when you do the PAX planner. So here's what the PAX planner looked like, how we kind of planned out my closet. Um, with the sales associate in the Ikea store. I basically told them everything I wanted, how many shelves, how many pull-out trays, um, the height I wanted it, the width I wanted it, and we put it all together and he printed this out for me. And this also comes with all of the pieces to like put it together and how much everything costs. 
This also came in really handy when the builders came to put my closet together. They actually just went by this sheet when they put it together. All right. So now that you know the details about my Pax closet, let me show you around. Come on in. Take a look around. This is my PAX IKEA closet that I custom built myself. It consists of three big pieces and two small pieces. This piece here, I use it mainly for like shirts and things that are short. Um, this is the 29 inch width. Yeah, 29 inch. And I just like the shelf. I can put things here. My favorite part of this piece though is actually this mirror. It pulls out and it swivels. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and then on the back of it, there's like little hanging space where I can hang things. I can put little things in here. I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna put here yet. I think I'm going to use it for my scarves because I already kind of have a place for necklaces but if I you know buy more necklaces I can definitely put my necklaces there. Yeah, so these two drawers here are mainly for, well for now because it's winter, are for my sweaters. So I have all of my sweaters in there. I have not organized them yet. I kind of just threw them in there. So be gentle with me, but yeah. I used to have them on a shelf in my closet, but this is like so much easier for the shelves. And then here are just the shoes that I wear a lot. I could just hop. I can just pop them out, put them on, and go. So I really like that pull-out feature where it's really close to the door. I can just put them on and go. Here is mostly where I have my hanging clothes, which is like dresses, skirts, and pants. Some of my faves in here. I just got this skirt from a uh, shop up. I love this skirt. Everyone's like crazy about this cameo collective dress that I wore a little while ago. So yeah, all of my things that I want to keep hanging, I put them here. And then I also have a little rack that slides out for my denim and then other pants. And I like that feature too. And now for <laughs> my favorite part of this cloth is my shoes. Hello. So I wanted two shelves for shoes. And so I have one shelf here. This is the 19 inch width with the pull out tray for the shoes. They all pull out. It holds about four pairs of shoes, two on the top and two on the bottom. And 
And then I also wanted to make sure I had enough space at the bottom for my standing boots. So I made sure that these uh, started further up. And down below I have all of my boots, my snakeskin boots, my um, tall black boots. And there, it's the same on the other side. And a good tip is to stuff your boots so that they stay upright and don't lean forward or to the side. I actually have like tissue paper stuffed inside my boots to keep them upright. Yeah, definitely my favorite part of my cloth is, you know, I have my Chanel's. They should be on display. And then a few of my other designer shoes here as well. I kind of put the more summery ones up top because I know I'm not going to be wearing them anytime soon, but they can still be seen. This shelf up here is just for hats and purses for now. I love this hat. This is my new favorite hat from uh, Cult Guy. It's so good. I can't wait to go on like a vacation so I can wear it. And this little space here is just like my little girly area where I have my candles and little sentimental mementos like uh, my invites to Guy La Roche, which was um, a show I went to during Paris Fashion Weeks. Um, a few jewelries, my fave like covers from Rihanna because I am a stan. I'm a stan. I am. And then all of my perfumes and yeah. Here, I created like a little area for my jewelry where it pulls out. And I have here all of my earrings, bangles, some necklaces, rings. These are really special. They're like vintage costume clip-on earrings. And here I have like my sunglasses, some watches, some more watches here. I haven't really filled up everything yet because I guess I have a lot less than I thought I have. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy some more things, but it's good to have some extra space. Now these first two drawers are clear see-through, which I think is really cool to just like show off your boxes and your purses. In here I have mostly bags all of my bags my little uh snakeskin belt bag a vintage bag that i got at the flea market all of my envelope clutches and then here i think i just have a bunch of random stuff <laughs> like boxes all of these little bags to hold your things that you get your shoes in and this is more hats. And I'm not gonna open the last drawer because that's my junk drawer. <laughs> it's my junk drawer. I just put all like my papers and like lenses and I have a pull out um, rack that I could broke down and is able to fit in there. Just a bunch of office stuff. Yeah. Oh, so up top. I basically have all of my shoe boxes because I'm so anal and I like to keep all of my designer shoe boxes. I don't know why, I just, I love them. They make good decoration. So like all of my old bags and shoe boxes I put up there. I also have my clear bag here from Stone. I have my vintage Louis Vuitton Episac So bag. I have this little clear bag here with another Balenciaga shopping bag inside and my other clear bag and then just a few shopping bags. I think I think it's just cute. Yeah. So I love decorating my spaces with my sterilies. I'm like addicted to greenery. So this is actually real. I know it looks fake, but it's real. Um I don't know, it just makes me feel serene when I have greenery. And so I bought this little vase from CB2 and I put this little flower in it. This flower is real, 
but eventually it will die because it's cut at the stem. This here is my inspiration board for the season. I usually do one um, every four months. So this is still kind of like my winter, spring um, inspiration board or vision board. I have like brands that I hope to work with, things that I wanna own. Like these shoes have been recycled a few times on my inspiration board. It's the Chanel shoes. I actually have them. They're here, but I want this color. And so I'm still trying to manifest those into my life. And yeah, maybe I'll get married this year. Who knows? <laughs> maybe I'll get engaged. Yeah. And then I just like how this looks. I think on a vacation, maybe I'll recreate that. And this is my desk. Um, I've had this desk for a while. I'm actually probably gonna replace this desk with like another color. I feel like it's like too much for the room. But for now, I love the length of it. I can really like spread out, get a lot of work done. I have my calendar here. I have my um, tripod for my phone when I'm doing my Insta stories. My magazine from last year. I put out a magazine every year. Fashion Still Magazine. Um, the latest issue will launch January 21st, 2019. So to check it out, there's a link below. Um, this computer chair I also got from CB2. But another thing I just got for this room that I love is this rug. I actually just got it yesterday and I feel like it just really kind of ties the whole room together. It was super affordable. I think it was like less than $120 from Wayfair. So I'll be sure to put a link for this rug um, in the description as well. I mean, I love it. It's like five by seven feet, but it's like the perfect size for the room. And let's see. Over here, I just have a few paintings. Um, this, is, this one is Bob Mackie, who was like a really famous designer in the like 80s. And this is the masturbating woman <laughs> that I got from Barcelona. This is a pretty um, famous photo. And then I have my dress form here. And I love this vintage dress form. I actually got it on Craigslist like eight, maybe like eight or nine years ago. And it was in Brooklyn. So I had to like go to Brooklyn and then I had to take it apart. Like this part comes off. And this base is so heavy. It's like literally i don't know 70 pounds me and a friend of mine literally took it apart and took it on the train and brought it all the way to harlem but it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet so that's pretty much it my closet thank you guys for like waiting so patiently i know you've been really wanting to see it ever since i showed a little bit of it on instagram but i will be making so much content in here Everything, all the information you need about the IKEA packs um, closet can be found below in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.